Ever wondered why money, something we all need and want is so darn complicated to manage? It's like trying to herd cats, isn't it? Just when you think you've got a handle on it, a surprise expense pops up. Or you realize that saving for retirement isn't as easy as throwing a few pennies in a jar, it's enough to make your head spin. But don't fret, we're here to help navigate this twisty maze of personal finance. We're going to debunk some big money myths, share some practical tips, and yes, sprinkle in a little humor to keep things light. After all, a spoonful of sugar helps the financial advice go down, right? So, whether you're a cash-strapped college student, a young professional trying to juggle bills, or someone just looking for ways to stretch your paycheck a little further, you're in the right place. So buckle up, we're about to debunk some money myths and dish out some top-notch advice. Myths, legends, old wives' tales, money has them all. But we're here to set the record straight. Let's start with a classic. You need a lot of money to invest. Oh, how this myth has stopped many from ever dipping their toes into the world of investments. The truth? You can start investing with as little as a few dollars. The key is to start early and be consistent. It's not about how much you invest, but how long you keep that investment going. So, no, you don't need to be a millionaire to start investing. Next up, credit cards are evil. This tale has been passed down generations, painting credit cards as the villains of personal finance. But let's bust this myth wide open. Credit cards, like any tool, can be harmful when misused but when used responsibly, they can be a great way to build credit, earn rewards, and manage cash flow. The villain here isn't the credit card, but irresponsible use of it. Then we've got the old saving is enough for a secure financial future. This myth is as old as time itself. While saving is a crucial part of personal finance, relying solely on savings is like putting all your eggs in one basket. Inflation can slowly eat away at your savings. Diversifying into investments can help your money grow and outpace inflation. So, saving is good but investing is better. Lastly, the infamous, I'm too young to think about retirement. Now this is a myth that needs busting ASAP. The earlier you start planning for retirement, the more comfortable and secure it will be. Remember, compound interest is your best friend when it comes to long-term financial goals. So even if retirement seems like a distant dream, start planning for it now. And there you have it, the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more finance tips and tricks. Saving money? Sounds like a chore, doesn't it? But it doesn't have to be. Imagine money as the dough for your favorite pie. You need to save some of it to make the crust, the foundation of your pie. Without it, well, you just have a mess of filling on your hands and no one wants that. The same goes for your financial life. Saving is the crust that holds it all together. Now let's talk about how to save effectively without feeling like you're missing out on the party. First off, there's the tried and true method of paying yourself first. No, this doesn't mean splurging on that luxury item you've been eyeing. It's about setting aside a portion of your income for savings before you even begin to pay your bills or spend on other things. Think of it as your very own VIP pass to the Future Financial Stability Club. Next up, the latte factor. This concept is as simple as it sounds. It's the idea that small everyday expenses such as that daily latte can add up to big savings over time. Now this doesn't mean you need to give up your caffeine fix entirely. Maybe just swap out a few lattes a week for a homemade brew. Before you know it, you'll have a tidy sum tucked away in your savings. And then, we have the savings snowball. Much like its debt counterpart, the idea here is to start small and gradually increase your savings. As you see your savings grow, you'll be motivated to save even more. It's a snowball of saving success. Remember, it's not about living a life of deprivation. It's about making smart choices and finding a balance that works for you. Saving money is like a game of chess. It requires strategy and patience. But once you've mastered it, you'll be setting yourself up for a checkmate in your financial future. Remember, saving money is not about denying yourself all joys of life, but mastering the art of balance. Debt, the big bad wolf of personal finance, or is it? Now I know what you're thinking. Debt with its interest rates and repayments is like that uninvited guest who overstays their welcome. But let's flip the script on this one. You see, not all debt is created equal. There's good debt and then there's bad debt. Now you might be wondering, good debt, sounds like an oxymoron. Well, let me explain. Good debt is kind of like that spinach smoothie you didn't want to drink as a kid but now can't live without. It's the type of debt that can potentially make you money in the long run. We're talking about things like student loans or mortgages. Yes, these are big commitments, but they're investments in your future. They're like the seeds you plant today for a fruitful tomorrow. On the other hand, we have the infamous bad debt. 
This is the kind that doesn't add to your net worth or have any potential value. It's more like that late night online shopping spree when you bought a dozen llama shaped coffee mugs. Fun? Definitely. Necessary? Probably not. Credit card debt or high interest loans, these are the ones that can keep you up at night. So what's the trick to managing this tricky business? Here's the golden rule, borrow only what you can afford to pay back. Seems simple, right? But it's surprising how often we overlook this. And remember, just like you wouldn't want to eat a whole cake in one sitting, don't take on more debt than you can handle. Also, prioritizing your debts can be a game changer. Start with the high interest ones and work your way down. It's like tackling the most challenging level of a video game first. Once you've conquered that, the rest seems like a walk in the park. And finally, always keep an eye on your credit score. It's like your financial report card. And trust me, you want to be scoring straight A's on this one. So there you have it. Debt can be a tool, not just a trap. The key is to use it wisely. Investing, it's not just for the Wall Street Wolves, it's for you and me too. So let's talk about investing, shall we? It's this big scary word that conjures images of stock market crashes, risky bets, and maybe even a monocle wearing tycoon or two. But here's the thing, investing is not as terrifying as it sounds. In fact, it's a crucial part of personal finance, especially for beginners like us. Investing is essentially putting your money to work for you. It's like hiring tiny minions and sending them off to earn more money. Sounds fun, right? But where do you start? Well, there's no one-size-fits-all answer here because investing depends on your personal financial goals. Are you saving for a new car, a house, or perhaps your retirement? Each goal might require a different investment strategy. Now let's debunk a common investing myth. You don't need a mountain of money to start investing. Even a small amount can grow significantly over time, thanks to a magical thing called compound interest. Imagine compound interest as a snowball rolling down a hill. As it rolls it picks up more snow growing bigger and faster. That's your investment growing over time. It's also important to remember that investing is not a get-rich-quick scheme, it's more like a slow cooker, simmering away to create a delicious pot of financial security. Patience is key here. As the saying goes, Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither will your investment portfolio. And while we're on the topic of patience, let's not forget about risk. Yes, investing involves risk. But life is risky, isn't it? The trick is to understand and manage the risk. That's why it's essential to do your homework and perhaps even seek advice from financial advisors. Investing isn't as scary as it seems. Remember, the best time to start was yesterday. The next best time? Now. Financial freedom. It's not a dream, it's a journey. Now don't get me wrong. It's not like a vacation to Hawaii. It's more like a road trip with a few flat tires and a detour or two. But here's the beauty of it. Everyone can on this ride. You see, achieving financial freedom doesn't mean you need to turn into Scrooge McDuck, diving into vaults of gold coins. Oh no, it simply means getting to a point where your money is doing the heavy lifting. You're not working for money, your money is working for you. It's like having a diligent little army of dollar bills, marching out each day to bring back more dollar bills. It's about making smart choices, managing your finances effectively and letting your money grow while you sleep, eat or binge watch your favorite show. Financial freedom is not about swimming in gold, it's about making your money work for you, not the other way around. So are you ready to take control? If you found this video helpful and would like to learn more, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on the journey to financial freedom. Let's conquer this road trip together.